Today for breakfast, I'm having a bacon and spinach omelet topped with sour cream mixed with salsa and a little bit of fresh basil on top. I'm not going to say go keto because I've made a big decision. Um, keto isn't working for me anymore. My arthritis has come back with a vengeance. My psoriasis, um, my fatigue, and although, remember, I just went shopping and bought all that meat. So, I am going to um, eat the food I have. And I'm going to try the vegan lifestyle for, my goal is to do it for a year and see what happens with all my numbers next year. And we'll see how this goes. I don't want to throw all that food away. I don't want to give it away. I spent a lot of money on it. So I am going to eat it, but then I'm going to make um, a change. Um, anyway, go vegan. <laughs> In a couple hours, I'm going to start getting ready for my uh, appointment with the foot surgeon. And then I'm going to a dance at one of the parks in the area. It's There's a bunch of parks owned by one corporation, and they're making an advertisement video. And... It starts at 4 o'clock, and there's going to be um, a one-man saxophonist, um, comedian type. I guess he's really awesome, but plays dancing music, I guess. And so going to go to that. It'll only last a couple hours, and we all had to sign a release because it will be on the Internet. And so that should be fun. Um Right now, I'm just sitting here waiting for the clock to go by so I can get this nasty hair in the shower. And um, anyway, I'm not sure if they'll allow me to videotape there, but if they do, I'll show you. It should be fun. To mention about the bully sticks, they don't cut. I would have needed a saw to cut that thing up. So, um, he'll only get those when I'm here. And, um, what else did I get him? Um, but I am not worried about him howling when I'm gone. Oh, and the neighbors. People, a lot of people asked about the neighbors. Right now, I don't have any neighbors. So, no one can hear him. Plus, because it's summer, the air conditioner is on, and so the windows are all closed. So even if I did have neighbors, they wouldn't be able to hear him. Um, <laughs> I just think he's so darn cute. Um, and people also mentioned in the comments that that howl that he does, I didn't know this, it's like a wolf thing. It's a howl telling them to come back or or making noise so I can find him when I come back, when I'm trying to come back. Honey, it's okay. I know where we live. And um, so, and he settles down after a few minutes and, oh, and a lot of people mentioned the music on um, uh, the video uh, that was behind the howling. It was the spa channel. Uh, people said it sounded like a funeral. It was the spa channel on Pandora. And um, I think I didn't hear the song. I didn't pay attention. So apparently it was um, <laughs> not very good music. Some people liked it. Um, so and a couple of people suggested talk radio. So I'll try that today when I leave. Um, because I'll be gone about three hours. I think I'm losing my voice. Well, the smoke, oh my gosh, you would not believe the smoke. It is incredible. Um, it's up to, the fire is up to 95,000 acres. It's 25% contained now. 
uh, the smoke is literally in my neighborhood. It's really affecting my breathing and um, and everything, but it's not going to kill me, so don't worry. Um, anyway, okay, talk to you in a bit. I'm going to talk about my shower head. This is a different kind of shower head than what you would have in a house. It's an RV shower head, obviously. And I'm wondering if this would come off and be replaced just like a regular shower head in a house. But my problem is my water pressure, which is like practically nothing. And that actually was a lot. When I, after a couple minutes, it goes down to almost nothing. I don't know how old this shower head is, but I'm going to use the vinegar cleaning trick and let this soak um, probably overnight in a bowl of vinegar. It's supposed to clean out all the um, hard water um, I don't know what you would even call it, calcium, whatever, um, because we do have hard water in Phoenix, and although this doesn't look, it looks practically brand new, I don't see anything, but remember I also use that um, uh, pressure regulator on my spigot, and I'm wondering if I just need to take that off. Um, I wonder if there's different pressure regulators with different uh, amounts of regulation, but this needs to be fixed. So I will put it in vinegar tonight and let you know tomorrow what happens. Okay, again, thanks to the viewers, I came across the wise cam I just got it Amazon just delivered it so I haven't used it yet I have to leave in about 45 minutes for my doctor's appointment so I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, set it up and figure it out by then um, but sorry the wind <laughs> the fans are blowing on me it feels awesome by the way um, and also, when there's a remote on the floor, that's just because I'm changing the batteries. Parker doesn't chew remotes or batteries or anything else, so calm down, everybody. Um, so anyway, let's check this out. Okay, I couldn't get the camera hooked up. It, uh, my Wi-Fi thinks I don't know my password but I have a cell phone, a tablet, two TVs, and a printer all hooked up to my Wi-Fi. I know my password. So I'll have to work on it when I get home. Um, so anyway, now I'm on my way to the pediatrician um, to uh, get my foot thing checked out. Since I couldn't get the, the WISE camera hooked up, I um, started my... Oh, I forgot to turn the TV on, darn it. Well, <laughs> so the song that everybody hated, um, some people said you should try talk, talk radio, so I was going to try that, but I don't have a radio. I'm wondering if Pandora has talk radio on there. Or iHeartRadio. Can you get that on the Fire Stick iHeartRadio? A bunch of people said put on Animal Planet. Well, I don't have cable, so I can't do that. Unless that's an, a free app, which I don't think it is. Anyway. Okay, good news. Doctor said it's a bone spur and a ganglion cyst. And since they're not bothering me, other than, I mean, the only reason I went is because I could see it, and I was just worried about, you know, there's there's something there that's not supposed to be there. Let's get it checked out. So, 
it's all good no problem it doesn't cause pain um, and now I'm going to the dance <laughs> no big deal. I didn't know that so many kids would be there and um, there wasn't very many people there and it was quite small but I guess it was as big as they needed it to be um, to get what they needed done which is to make a video to advertise the uh, different parks I guess. Anyway, now I'm on my way home to get Mr. Parker out, and uh, we'll talk to you later. And I'm not sure why they had kids there, since all their communities are 55 and over, so that was a little odd, but anyway, it was fun watching them dance. <laughs>